standing all on a very, very wet Wednesday evening here at the Viridal Stadium. I'm, of course, Josh Perkins, joined by... Jody Graven. How are you doing, Jody? Uh, not too bad. It's, it looks like there's a rainbow over there, so there's going to be some sun where the sun's just coming up. It's going to be fine. Torn Town versus Paul Town. What are we, 1st of April? No, 1st of May. 1st of May. <laughs> Thank you. 7.45 kickoff. You just... They've got a... You know, they're very experienced front line, especially James Thompson boys. They've got lots of... Uh, football league experience and then conference south experience. That's so what you were telling me a bit off air that uh, the, you know some of the, some of the players in the Paul Town team are actually you know they're they're of that calibre in the in the conference south where they have you know they played there before so. Well, play, yeah, plenty plenty at all. Play. Almost you know open ball there as Dan Sullivan tries to uh, to take it. Now with Keith Keith Emerson. Oh, Rocky's Rocky around the back. Oh, oh, goes okay. down. Offside flag. Offside. Very good totally, call there, Jody. Not totally sure it was um, foul anyway. You can always count on you know people like Ryan Brett and Shane White to go for long Rory Delap kind of throw. No. And it's Falls out to Edelsbury there. Edelsbury! Oh, well, lucky. Hit that one well. Hit as well. Yeah. It's, it's out of good, position not now. Good defending that. It's onside as Paul Town go into attack. And just nice. over the bar for Paul Town. Lucky escape there for Taunton and for Ed Palmer there. Ed. Near side of the field now, Paul Town free kick as it goes long into the box. Nothing doing. Goal kick. When he's challenging Rocky Neal or Lewis Hall when Lewis Hall gets forward. Do you know if the rule is in place, um, if they get uh, you know a, a yellow or, or sent off that they can't play the next game? Long um, ball into Josh Nelms. Into know. the middle of the box. Rocky Neal chest it oh. down. Hoyle. Bouncing, still bouncing around Big in there. Big scuffle. Balls to Matt right through uh, the legs and out. Well dealt with there by Matt Hughes, to be honest. Paul Town goes down. Lloyd Irish. Same really. Yeah. Long. Paul Town on the attack again. Long ball. Oh. Josh Nelms very well dealt with Jane from White. Taunton's Jane midfielder. Jane, Jane White. Yeah. South if, uh, if any one of these teams. Of course, Weymouth have done it already. Conference South is where they're looking to get. Ball runs far away from Ed Palmer, but Lloyd Irish. Come on in. Dan, Dan Sullivan, Sullivan. on his right foot, no. always rising, yeah. unfortunately. Never coming down. Right here, we do notice little things, like Jason Comfortable then, he was a little nudge then on Ed Palmer as Ed Palmer went up for the ball. Didn't shake him off it though. Sam Griffin now playing to the far-hand side of the field. Paul Town, straight pass with a shot. Yeah, and and that to... is 1-0 to Paul Town. And he's the guy that Taunton Town was saying should have been sent off for blocking the, the For the free, free kick, kick yeah. Okay. He's Jody Grabham, of course, joined by myself, Josh Perkins. Yeah, uh, interesting first half, I think, to say the least. It's currently Paul Town 1, Taunton Town 0. Brilliant. Matt Wright will be the target. I don't think Matt Wright's looking for a flick in. Throws him to go. Matt Wright, trying, oh, like, like you were saying, though, trying to get on that. Yeah, Ryan right. Brett with the right foot shot! Yeah! Yes! Ryan Brett into the Ryan corner. Brett! Really? What a goal. Ryan Brett, right foot, right bottom corner. Goalkeeper didn't even move. He's probably unsighted, but it was a lovely strike. Revigorated. Look, hear the crowd here at the Virador Stadium. Go on, Lewis. Lewis Hall, right foot. Oh. Oh. Just needed to be a bit more in the corner there from Lewis, and that could have been a second goal for Tour. Very well stopped by the Paul Town goalkeeper. Not his getting best the first foot. goal in the 43rd minute, thanks to a. Um, a pull town, well, well worked goal. Left foot shot, just past the left hand side of the goal. Yeah. Lloyd Iris seemed to have it covered. Around. You tell. Far hand side of the field, Ed Palmer throws a long ball in. Oh. Still there, still there, oh. still live. Nearly goal line clearance. Nearly an own goal, but offside. Obviously, the what pull, is that call there? The pull player couldn't have been offside. So. No. And Ref has blown the whistle. Oh, so, can this work? Ball goes in high. Oh. Header, ball still oh. there. Handball! Handball! Like Calls for a handball, the ref, nothing doing. Taunton fans will be... Wanted that out of play, really, not back into the middle. Oh, and another slip by a Taunton oh, player, that's Shane White that, this time. And that is a foul. He's going to get booked. It's unfortunate there, he slipped, you know. Oh, I'm not sure, I, I have to look at the map. <laughs> 
again, Paul Town really, really seemed to be in the same position on, uh, especially in the second half. Lloyd Irish, very, very safe hands. That one didn't Taunton really Town. meet any of the targets. Dan Sullivan trying to intercept, doesn't do so. Oh. James Constable is onside. He tries to chip Lloyd Irish, and what? Lloyd was a little bit in no man's land. He was, there. was a, a bit of a let off. Oh. So he's got to react to this. They were a bit definitely through, oh. a bit slow reacting to that. Like you're saying, left a shot straight oh. into the path of Lloyd Irish. Safe hands there from Lloyd. Uh, look forward to commentating on penalties. No, so hope it doesn't go that way. Ball comes in for Paul. Now on the outside right, of the field, Dan Sullivan, Dan Sullivan has now, stuff to do here. It's a two. Two oh, versus five is Rocky Neal trying to take on their number six on the far hand side of the field. 78 minutes played at the Virador here in Taunton. Yeah, Dan Sullivan just couldn't get away. There was two players on him pretty quick. Now Ollie, Ollie Chamberlain. Chamberlain. Out wide on the right. Fresh legs. Is he going to slip someone in now? Oh, is he Balls, Dan Sullivan on his right foot. No. Uh, oh, but Ryan Turns him. Ryan Brett. No, bit of miscommunication there. Ryan Brett was looking for Ben Ellsbury. Lewis Hall. Left foot. Behind. Nothing doing. So, yeah, right into the down, penalty though. area, he's no. Still, right foot, shot. Oh, falls to Dan Sullivan, right foot! Oh, there's a dead yeah, palm of those. Can this one, Ben Allesbury, get on this one? Or Matt Wright, not quite as long this time. Still oh. Matt Buse trying to put his left foot onto it that. Fell to him, but oh. it more so. fell onto his. 21 again, Jody, is it? Checking in numbers here. Definitely. Far hand side of the field now for Taunton on a right on his right foot. Oh, that's a, that's um, Sam Griffin again. He does. He's hit a couple like that. Yeah, on his right foot. He's a real danger. Oh, he's going to try and look for him long. And that oh, is now we got extra time. There we go. That is full time. Yeah, at Taunton Town one, Paul Town one. We do go into extra time for this one leg fixture. Yeah, so they just invest southwest ends. And we have just found out that the game between Met Police and Salisbury has finished 3-2. Yeah, so, so Met, Met Police, Police will be going into the final on Monday the 6th of May. Bank holiday Monday at 3pm. Long ball into the box. Taunton needs to defend this well. Looking to flick on. Controlled by their number 10. Flicked out. Left foot shot. Yeah. Nothing doing for Paul. Well wide in the end. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> ball played in. Very Ooh. central. Goalkeeper's made it. Oh, how can it not go in? The ball. Surely, Ed surely Palmer's, someone. Ed Palmer should have put that in. It oh my literally fell goodness. to his foot and he didn't put it in. I'm not even Ollie sure. Chamberlain tries to find Matt Wright, who's onside. No, he's, no, he's not. He's offside. Came a great I'm not challenge. sure. And that is and it. that no. is the end of the first period of extra time. time which we mm. might do, I'm not sure. Um, I think they've used up all three subs now. If you just joined us, second period of extra time. My name is Josh Perkins, he's Jody Grabham. And we're here for the uh, the semi-final in the playoffs between Taunton Town and Paul Town. And as it stands, going the distance. it is going to go the distance. One, one all, one apiece. This is long ball, long central ball, trying to find Sullivan. So, oh, Sullivan! And it falls to now. Sullivan. Right hand. Oh, going right too there. wide. Right oh on no! Rocky. If anyone you would expect to put the ball in the net, you would think it would be Rocky, Rocky Neal. Neal trying to get his 35th goal of the season. Matt Wright trying slipped. to. Uh, Play on to Rocky Neal. So Matt Buse is going to get onto this. Is he, he going to go down? He's, he's, staying he's on not. His he's feet. staying up. Oh no, it's goal kick. Or is he pulling? Is he pulling it back? No, it's a goal uh, kick. No. But there he might be a. a he has a hoot. He's given a free kick to Taunton. So oh, he wow. has. Ed Palmer hits it onto his right foot, looking for a oh, shot too high. straight over. Too high. Yeah, really. Really. Place, place to no one. A lot of space now for Paul on the left-hand side of the field as they attack from left to right. Ball in. Oh, very well kept. Go through oh. legs. Very yeah. well kept from Taunton's number one. Here's a dangerous opportunity here for Taunton. They've got three men over the ball. Ed Palmer, Ryan Brett on his left foot. Oh. oh. Good. It was on target, but there wasn't enough pace on that. Off side, edge of the Reddit. box sort of area. As Paul Town and Taunton look to defend this, to defend this set piece. Goes in. Safe hands. All the way Lloyd. to Lloyd Irish. But who's to hit? And that That's is it. the end of penalty extra time shootout. penalty uh, shootout between Taunton and Paul coming up. Welcome. Penalties it is. And uh, obviously being English, not particularly uh, our, our strong suit, but then again we did right. win our most recent one and so, steps up. So Corby Moore to take the first penalty for Paul Town. Lloyd Harrison goal. 
Paul Corby Moore. And it's in into the back of the net, almost straight down the middle. Uh, first blood to Paul. Now over to Josh for the torn penalty. Rocky Neal. I mean, you know, what, what else can you say about this guy that's, uh, that's not been said already? 34 goals uh, currently this season. Taunton's number 11 steps up against Luke. Luke Kelly in goal. Imagine what it's like on the shoulders of Andrew Rocky Neal as he steps up. First penalty for Taunton. And he Didn't slots it home. Bottom yes. left-hand corner, Rocky Neal. Lovely penalty that was, right into the corner. Number two. Number two, Jack Dixon to take the penalty. Of course, the goal scorer. Yeah, and he took his goal very well in the first half. Of a long, long time ago, so he's taken his penalty. Lloyd, oh, Lloyd got to it, but he couldn't keep it out. It's going to be gutted about that. Went the right so, way. Yeah, not the greatest of penalties. It was not in the corner, really. It was, it was down low. Now Dan Lloyd. Sullivan stepping up for Taunton's second penalty of the night. And Dan used to take a lot of penalties last season. Uh, not, don't recall him taking a penalty this season. As he steps out for Taunton's second penalty. Oh, that was beautiful. Again, <laughs> side netting. <laughs> <laughs> that is how that it's done. Right, so Lloyd have. Iris is now facing Marvin Brooks, one of the pool's best sort of goal scorers. Been a real nuisance in this yeah, game. He's been around at a lot of a lot of clubs like Salisbury and what can he do here? Ah, oh, it's in the net, straight down the middle of that or one. Head off. Ed Palmer steps up for Taunton and their third penalty. Yeah. Could put the keeper in the net with this one. I feel sorry for the ball. <laughs> and that's ricocheted off Hit the bar. Too well. Too well off the bar for Ed Palmer. Number three. Number three, Jake Smeaton. And that's another great penalty there, top corner. Beauty. Puts Paul Town 3 2 up. Come on, Ollie. All of the season down to a penalty shootout. Ollie Chamberlain, number 14 for Taunton, steps up. And straight down the middle for Ollie Chamberlain. Cool, calm, collected. Three. Who? Who's, ah. Oh, the keeper's doing it. Number Luke. one, Luke Kearney. Can he hit it? Oh, he's no, he got it! Oh. No, he wow. can't! What a penalty shootout. Just Lloyd like the game. Irish. Screams just like the game. This in is in adulation. Just like the game. This is uh, <laughs> no, you can't. This game's just crazy. Absolutely end-to-end -end stuff. No, no, Luke the, Kelly misses the his penalty. The uh, having to be kept apart here, which is uh, understandable. And <laughs> Shane White, number seven. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Or the Shane White track. scores, and um, and Paul miss. Taunton go through. Shane White has a job at hand. Oh, off the, the bar, bar as well. Ah. Off the bar for Taunton and Paul Town go through to face Met Police on Monday the 6th of May, winning the penalty shootout 4-3. <laughs>